Chapter 7 The Baptism When the time for Christ's public ministry had come, his first act was to go to the Jordan River and be baptized by John the Baptist. John had been sent to prepare the way for the Savior. He had preached in the desert, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 3, 2 Multitudes flocked to hear him. Many were convicted of their sins, and John baptized them in the Jordan. God had made known to John that some day the Messiah would come to him and ask to be baptized. The Lord had also promised that John would receive a sign so that he might know who the Messiah was. When Jesus came, John saw in his face such signs of his holy life that he tried to stop him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Matthew 3, 14 and 15. And as he said this, John noticed upon his face the same heavenly light that Simeon had seen. So John led the Savior down into the waters of the muddy Jordan. There he baptized him in the sight of all the people. Jesus was not baptized to show repentance for his own sins, because he had never sinned. He did it to set an example for us. When he came up out of the water, he kneeled on the riverbank and prayed. Then the heavens opened and beams of glory streamed forth. Jesus saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Verse 16. His face and body were all aglow with the light of the glory of God. And he heard the voice of God saying from heaven, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Verse 17. The glory that rested upon Christ was a pledge of God's love for us. The Savior came as our example, and just as surely as God heard his prayer, he will hear ours. The most needy, the most sinful, the most despised may find an open door to the Father. When we come to him in Jesus' name, the voice that spoke to Jesus also speaks to us, saying, This is my beloved child, in whom I am well pleased.